Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you have another great day today. Well, in my last video, I went out to the EVgo charging station. That's a collaboration between GM, EVgo, and Pilot Travel Centers LLC, which is also includes uh, Flying J's. And as I was charging, I noticed that the, the, the price per kilowatt hour was pretty high. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, anyway, 59 cents, that was the highest price I had seen. And just about a week before that, I went out to a, a Tesla supercharger station. They had a Magic Doctor charge my Rivian up. And I noticed that was 49 cents uh, per, per kilowatt hour. And I thought that was expensive. And anyway, I was reading through my comment section. And someone pointed out the gas prices in the background. And as you can see on this sign I'm showing right here, the gas price right here of a... Uh, uh, $2.49 a gallon. Someone also pointed out, I was like, man, that's that's quite expensive. And, you know, that gas is pretty cheap. There was also a commenter that said that they didn't think that was a big of a deal. You know, it's like chump change, an extra, you know, 10, 20 cents per kilowatt hour. It's not that big of a deal. And I was like, I kind of agree with that. So I can see that, you know, you have these expensive electric vehicles. And, you know, charging at a public charging station, it, for most people, is rare. I rarely do it. And the times I do it, you've probably seen it on video. Uh, in fact, probably every time I charge is on video, which is not that often. So it wouldn't really have an impact on me. However, uh, not long ago, my wife and I were coming from visiting my father. And I noticed this gas station had all of these cars in a long line. And I looked at my wife, I was like, man, what's going on at that gas station? And my wife, who still drives a gas vehicle, she's like, oh, the, the gas prices here are cheaper than the other places. And I was like, man, that was a, I've been driving an electric car for like 12 years now, and I don't really pay attention to gas prices. To see all of those people in line just to save like 10 cents a gallon, I was like, man, that's, you know, that's pretty uh, serious. So, and then it got me to think, I was like, man, you know, paying 59 cents per kilowatt hour, what does that translate to in in gas? And I'm going to show you. And, and then I made a little short where I was like, I ended up paying twice as much to to fuel my Rivian as it would have if I would have put gas in it. And I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to do some math for you. And I'm going to break this down exactly what it is I'm talking about. And like I said, if you're charging at home, this won't have an impact on you because you know, like I pay like 15 cents per kilowatt hour in my house. So... It maybe cost me $100 a month to charge at home, so not that big of a deal. Uh, however, just imagine the people who are living in apartment buildings or you know, people who are renting homes who don't have any way to charge at their house or people who can't afford to install a level two charger. I mean, these are, if you're talking about full mass EV adoption across, these are things that really need to be considered and things that need to be looked at, it, it, it's, especially for those states who, who are instituting a 100% EV mandate. You know, by like 2030 or 2035. And this is something that really needs to be considered because this can have a very negative impact on someone's wallet or pocketbook. And I'm going to show you what I mean. And so we're going to take my Rivian, for instance. So I put in 43 kilowatt hours of electricity at a rate of 59 cents per kilowatt hour. And that cost me $25.37. And so... How much gas can I get for the same amount? Well, if you look at that picture, you see the gas was $2.49 a gallon. So we're going to divide that by $25.37 to see how much gas, how many gallons of gas can I get for the same amount of money? And I could have gotten over 10 gallons of gas. So we're just going to, we're going to, to just round it down to 10, 10 gallons. And so 10 gallons of gas, I could have gotten. And so take a vehicle like my Rivian R1T. And hey, this is just guessing. This is an 835 horsepower vehicle. It is a mid-sized vehicle. And, but if I try to compare it to equivalent gas vehicle, let's just say it's, it's going to get 15, 15 miles a gallon on the highway. So we're going to take 10. We're going to times 15 miles a gallon. And so I could get around 150 miles with this same amount of money. And that's with a highly inefficient 15 miles a gallon uh, vehicle. And so the $25.37 would give me 150 miles. So how many miles did I get with this same amount from kilowatt hours? 
So we're going to do some math. And I know exactly how many I put in. So I know I put in 43 kilowatt hours. And I also know that when I pulled up, it had 123 miles of range left on my vehicle. And when I was finished charging, it had 219 miles of range. And so we're just going to divide that by 123. And we know that I got, I added 96 miles of range uh, to my vehicle. So in that 96 miles cost me $25 and 37 cents. And so we can kind of make a determination and say, how many miles per kilowatt hour am I getting in my vehicle? I added 43 kilowatt hours and I, I, had, I added 96 miles of range. So if we divide that by 43, we'll get 2.23 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So we got 150 and we're going to divide that by 2.23. And that would, that would have been equivalent to 67.26 kilowatt hours of electricity. And how much would that cost me? <laughs> and so we can see how, how much it cost me to go 150 miles at these rates. So then we're going to just round it down to say 67. So 67 kilowatt hours times 0.59. It would have cost me $39.50. So lower the gas prices, you totally lose advantage over gas vehicles. So at that point, you're not saving anything. In fact, the gas vehicle is going to cost you a lot less money. And you got to keep remember, we're talking about public charging. We're not talking about charging at home. If you're charging at home, these numbers are totally different. But with these high prices at these charging stations, it makes it very expensive to charge a vehicle to the point where if you, and if you're not higher income, just say you're an average income earner. It's, so you're making thirty or forty thousand dollars a year, and this is a lot of extra money to pay for to fuel your vehicle. It's just a lot of extra money. It's way more than what they'll be pay, paying right now. So I want I just want everyone to keep this in mind that the people who are going to need to use the public charging infrastructure the most are probably the ones that can least afford it. Does that make sense? That if someone is has to rely on a public charging infrastructure and they're being charged like 40 cents, 48 cents per kilowatt hour to, to charge a vehicle up, they're going to be paying a lot more than what they would be paying in gas in equivalent. And I'm sure people are going to pick up on this. And I'm not, you know, I'm saying I'm a proponent of electric vehicles, but I also am a proponent of people. And I know that a lot of this stuff comes down to dollars and cents. And, you know, electric vehicles are already more expensive. And now if, you know, you're looking at this math, and unless they can do something about these high charging rates, I mean, maybe give them some type of car where they get reimbursed to where they're paying the same amount of kilowatt hours that someone who is charging on a residential rate is going to get and they get reimbursed somehow, this is not going to make any sense. This has to be corrected because... You're not going to get full EV adoption if you have one group that's going to have to pay way more. And unfortunately, it's the group that probably has the, the, the least amount of financial resources. So the people who are making all the money get to save a lot of money. And the people who are not making any money get to spend a lot more money. So these are just things I want you to, to talk about. Now, I would like to hear what you think in the comment section. And also, if you listen up to this point, please like and subscribe. And, you know, some more this can go out to more people. And I know there's a lot of smart people in the comment section, and I'm sure you can come up with some really good answers. So this situation right here, I can see this being a big issue going forward. And that's to can find some way to get some parity between, you know, because right now everyone pays the same price for gas at the gas station. But if you have people who can afford, not, you know, a home and a charging station, and they get to only pay 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Right now, homes are unaffordable for a lot of people. And if they can't, you know, charge at their apartment complexes or at their rental property, they're going to have to rely on a public charging network. So, you know, where someone who owns a home is only going to be paying around 15 cents per kilowatt hour, the other person that has to rely on a public charging infrastructure is going to be paying around 48 cents per kilowatt hour. And that is detrimental to the pocketbook. 
And that's not going to help EV adoption. Also, in the comment section, let me know what you think about this. And, you know, if you think I got anything wrong, like, hey, your math is wrong, uh, let me know. And I'll, I'll correct it and we'll do this all over again. And that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me again. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.